Hello everyone, and today we're going to be uh, talking about a topic that is again related to the latest patch for Total War Rome Remastered, that is patch 2.0.4, which uh, again just came out of beta and is now available to the public. So what I want to talk about is the unit variation that has been added to units, right? So Rome Remastered does have unit variation, right? So it has diversity within units. However, it was a little bit limited. It was a little bit different than what people expect, perhaps, with that. It, 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 it added the ethnicity system. So that was when, uh, when you recruited a legionary in Italy. Uh, he looked like an italic legionary, an italic soldier, with that kind of face, right? But then if you recruited the same person in, or the same unit in, uh, let's say, Syria he would look like he was from Syria, right? Or if you recruited a legionary in Egypt, he would look like he was from Egypt, right? So there was the ethnic variation, but of course there was also armor variation as well to a degree. And that was a very nice mechanic, especially for uh, mods that, or for vanilla, which has units that are recruitable in very different regions, like, I don't know, Eastern infantry, Right, so it was, it was good to have ethnic variation within those units, right? That was pretty a pretty nice mechanic that I think a lot of people are going to take advantage of eventually. However, if you were porting units from the original Rome Total War, there was no way to get unit variation, right? You um, you can make it work with the ethnicity system, but I mean it takes a lot of work. So. Uh, here we are looking at uh, an EDU, uh, Export Disker Unit File. And this is a file from the original uh, Chivalry Total War, uh, which I have become quite familiar with. And this is the uh, Almoravid uh, Bodyguard Unit, or the Moor Bodyguard Unit. And as you can see, uh, this pretty much shows you uh, everything that's interesting about this unit, all the stats, all the the text related to it, for example, the dictionary entry which connects it to text, and what kind of unit it is, cavalry and class, heavy, all of that, and the voice type, right? So that's all interesting, but that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about are these three things here. So soldiers and officers. So in Rome Remastered Patch 2.0.4, um, you are no longer limited to one soldier and a couple of officers, right? You can have, I believe, up to seven officers, right? So these officers are like um, standard bearers, right? They hold the flags, or they are like centurions that hold those big staffs, or eagle bearers or um, drummers, musicians, those are the officers, right? Now you can have up to seven officers, that's really cool. But what's even cooler than that, even though the officer stuff is pretty cool, is that now you can have, I believe, up to nine soldier models, right? So in the original here, you see it just says soldier, and then you have the soldier, Rulam bodyguard, and then this is the Moorish skin of the Rulam bodyguard soldier, right? And I will show you what exactly this means in the uh, Desker model battle file. This connects to the Desker model battle file, all of these officer and soldier uh, entries. So let me quickly show you uh, the DMB. Uh, or, or actually, first I'm going to show you the export uh, Desker unit of Chivalry Remastered, and I'm just going to show you a unit I have added that actually does have variation. Okay, so give me just a second. All right, and now it should show up here. So this is the Export Desker unit in uh, Chivalry Remastered. And uh, what do you notice about this? It has soldiers, not just soldier. Right, so that's one thing you have to do. Now, it, it's not like it doesn't work if you just have one soldier. Of course it does, right? It definitely does. However, now you have the option of adding 
soldiers, right? You can change the soldier page to just, or the soldier line to say just soldiers, remove that soldier entry that you see next to it. Let me quickly pull that up again. Now it's no longer changing. Oh boy. Anyway, um, and then you add this little section over here. And then you add in the soldiers uh, that are in their uh, Desker model battle entries, right? Their respective Desker model battle entries, which have different skins. And thus you get units uh, like this that I'm going to show you now. Uh, this is a uh, this is not a unit you can recruit in the game that just yet. This is just an example, the late night unit, and I have added three different uh, models, right? Essentially, uh, three different model entries in Desker Model Battle that have different skins for the same faction, Pisa, and thus you have a unit of knights that has uh, unit diversity within the unit. So that is quite nice. Indeed. So quickly, I'm going to show you a Desker model battle file. Okay, there we go. So this is a Desker model battle file. Okay. And all of these entries are essentially different models. These are the soldier entries that you put in the export Desker unit. Okay. So when we go down to uh, late night, Yeah, when we go down to late night, here we go. So we have a, a bunch of different entries. So again, most of the soldiers are just single entries, right? Like Merc Knight. That's just one entry, and then it's got texture details for every single faction. And then you have Late Night, which is a unit I've just created for this example. And you have Late Night with nothing, and this is just... Uh, the red version of the night that you see in the screenshot. And then you have late night one, which is the green version that you see in the screenshot. And then you have late night two, which is the white version of the night that you see in the screenshot. And Romans Julia is just the internal code name for uh, the faction Pisa. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. This is how you get unit variation in uh, Rome Total War Remastered in the latest patch 2.0.4 and that is really nice that they added this um, it's going to take me some time to incorporate this into the mod into all the factions and all of the rosters all the unit rosters for every faction um, but if you want to play a mod that has really taken advantage of this then that mod is uh, imperium serectum i'm going to be talking about imperium serectum a lot uh, in the coming days and weeks because it is uh, one of those mods that's take really taking advantage of this, and I think the aesthetic is really nice indeed. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about this. Um, if you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, if you'd like to see some more in-depth videos like this and some more tutorial-type videos, I'm, I mean, I'm not the best modder in the world. I just learned a couple months ago so that I could port chivalry. But if you want to learn more about that process, please let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, so consider subscribing to the channel and consider leaving a like on this video. And I will see you in the next one later.